Well, welcome here to Loughborough University for the second leg of the BPL Championship quarter-final uh, playoff. And Leicester go into this second leg with a lead of 12 points after an 88-76 win at Cheshire a couple of days ago. Let's talk to the head coach, Rob Paternostro, about that. And uh, it had a very good first quarter in that game, Rob. Yeah, we came out early, and I thought both teams played pretty well in the first quarter, uh, but uh, a good result for us. I mean, that's a good team over there, and to go up on the road in the playoffs and come away with a 12-point victory, we're real happy about it. I suppose, you know, you got half-time coming up at the end of the game. It's hard to get that out of your mind a little bit, I guess, is it? Yeah, it's just so strange. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. The the aggregate games are very difficult for the coaches, you know, no question about it. I think uh, all of us, you know, find it really weird. Uh, but it is what it is. We're looking to win both games. We, we won the last game. We're looking to come out here and win today. I told the guys uh, before the game and yesterday, uh, let's make sure we don't try to do too much math and uh, look up at the clock a lot. You know, it's worry about playing basketball, and at the end, if we need to, we will. So here we go, quarterfinal second leg at Loughborough University Riders. After that first leg a couple of days ago, lead by 88 points to 76, or the 12 points is the important thing. Starting five for the Riders, Sullivan, Downing, Anderson, Cousinard and Hassan. And starting five for the visitors, Cheshire, Reggie Middleton, Devon Bailey, Victor Moses, Dominic Coleman, and Vasokis, the big centre, who's six foot ten. And we're underway with Cheshire getting the first possession with Middleton. So this is a high one, trying to get the up and under in for Coleman, but he couldn't catch the ball. Anyway, might get the ball in bad eventually, if we do. Uh, Middleton, nice ball through, and it's the opening basket to the Zockis, the big centre. Opening basket of the game to Cheshire, which narrows the lead out on aggregate to 10 points. So Riley's looking for their first basket now. And San was a top scorer away from home. Here's Cousinard, back to Downing. Moves it to Sullivan, just cross court. Cousinard is going to go for it. Second call of asking, he does, but bounces off the basket and over the top. So Leicester still to score then. Here come Cheshire again then with Middleton. Exchange with Holman again. Downing keeping a close watch on things. Nice ball through to Victor Moses. Moses go for basket and scores as well. So it's 4 0 to Cheshire. Here's Middleton. Oh, good interception there from Anderson for Leicester. And here comes Calvo. Cousinard. Oh, nice pass inside and an easy basket for Anderson. But a great pass there from Jay Cousinard. Just a three point game now in favour of Cheshire. 8 5. Here's Masokis, the big centre against the Sam. A uh, bit of a loose pass there, and Calvo picks it up, gets it to Kuzmanov, goes downfield to Sullivan, and Sullivan with an easy two for Leicester. Uh, looking to get straight back into it. Middleton, end to end for Middleton, and a good two from him as well. Bit of pace about this basketball game suddenly. Sullivan gets the ball back. Calvo. It's Anderson again, nearly loses possession, but Calvo's going to go for the three. Oh, just off the rim of the basket there. Moses couldn't catch the ball. Leicester have it again. Here's Kuzinov. Nice athletic catch from him. Kuzinov thinks about the shot from outside, goes to the basket, and eventually, at the third time, gets it in. Crowd will tell him how much time he's got left, probably. He's trying to get through, but he can't. Oh, under the basket is Anderson. Gets the two. That obviously worked, and the buzzer goes. Nice score at the end of the half. 
for the Leicester Riders who lead by 44 points to 29. So that's a 15 point lead on the day and a 30, 27 point lead on aggregate. So at half time, the Leicester Riders lead on the day 44-29. half underway. Cheshire have already got a score on the board since the restart. Here's Hassan Cusinado to Hassan. Get the right way round. Hassan with a nice little two on the line. So both sides have opened their scoring. Middleton goes through traffic. Can't get the score away though. Sullivan brings it forward. Alvo, nice and pass to Anderson. Anderson with an easy, unchallenged slam dunk. Cheshire. So nobody outscoring each other on the Leicester team as Cheshire get the ball in. Nice score there from Moses. Anderson with a screen, gives it to Sullivan again. Sullivan under a bit of pressure, top of the key. Launches himself to the basket. Great score. Great responsibility there from the England international. Here's Middleton. 16 point lead now for Leicester at, here at Loughborough University. And uh, score there from the Sockis for two. And Sullivan again. Oh, he knows what he's going to do, but this time can't get the score. Picked up by Middleton. And Moses flicks it up, nice little movement, and picks up the two. 10 point lead for Leicester here at Loughborough University. That's a 22 point lead on aggregate. Still going to be too much for Cheshire, but they don't want to finish on a high for their last game of the season if that happens. And uh, almost a double foul there, but foul on Moses, I think. Makes it a 20 point game on the day, 73-53. Uh, just a question of playing out the game for Leicester. Washington. Cousinard, oh! Gets through traffic and scores a very nice two point a dunk. It's to Crepe. Crepe can't score though. And Lamble gets a hand on it, but Leicester can't recover the ball. And long shot again, and again another big shot from Coleman. That's two three pointers from him in this final quarter. Obviously been told to go for it. Nothing to lose really. There's Gamble, picks up the loose ball from Washington. Cousinard. Cousinard again, great play from Cousinard. And a lovely basket too. Just left um, Dominic Coleman for dead there. So both teams have agreed to finish the game at this time following a serious leg injury to Victor Moses. So the score ends 77-56. So the riders go through to the semi-final on a 33-point aggregate. But look at the crowd. They appreciate the decision by the teams. Well, Rob, first of all, a sad ending to the game with that injury to Victor Moses. You know, being around basketball for as long as I have, um, you know, you don't see too many of those. That was a tough one. And it's always real depressing, not just for uh, his teammates, but any of the players out on the court to see any player go down in that kind of pain, and especially such a, a good kid and a good player as Victor. So it was really tough to watch for all of us, and our thoughts and prayers go out to him. And uh, obviously, I think the correct decision to end the game at that point with about seven minutes to go. And I guess neither sets of players really wanted to carry on. Well, I mean, you know, uh, they, they definitely didn't want to play. And, uh, you know, we respect that decision and um, we move on. And right now, I think uh, everybody that has left here will be thinking about the kid.
and obviously uh, you move on now to the next stage which is the semi-final which we now know will be against Newcastle here first of all. Well, for us, uh, we did the job today, no question about it. I mean, you know, when you come in with a 12-point lead, sometimes you get a little concerned, uh, you know, about the intensity, but I thought the intensity was there from start to finish. Uh, I really enjoyed the way we competed. Uh, we had uh, Downing out of the game and Hassan out of the game for long stretches, but Barry Lambo, Connor Washington, Jorge Calvo, uh, those guys came off the bench and really gave us a lift. Uh, and Kuzinar today, I thought, was uh, excellent, all over the backboard, so yeah. Uh, here we go, uh, Newcastle again. Um, I think both teams have a great respect for each other and the games are, are, are a credit to our league. So uh, we know it'll be a tough matchup and we know uh, that if we want to advance, we're going to have to play really well. So then a sad end to this BBL quarter-final playoff with Victor Moses uh, struggling with a very difficult injury for everybody to accept at the end and both sides deciding not to play on the correct decision in everybody's view that I've spoken to. But for the Riders, it's now to the semi-finals against the Newcastle Eagles. And the first day will be here at Loughborough University on the Thursday and then away on the Sunday. Can they get to another final? We wait and see.